Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal with the Lucifer Tea Games. On the last episode, er, uh, what did we do? We did plot. <laughs> we hung out with a few different confidants er, uh, at the start of the episode, and then we headed to the TV station for our school trip. When we were there, we were hanging out with Ryuji and Ad and Morgana, of course, having a little conversation, er, uh, and we happened to meet a pleasant boy around our age, uh, wearing, like, a completely different uniform. Uh, by the name of Goro Akechi, who turned out to be the detective, the second detective prince that we've been hearing about so much on TV recently. Uh, he chatted with us a little bit on the first day, and then on the second day he had an interview on TV where we were in the audience. The interviewers were asking a few questions about the Phantom Thieves, and Akechi said that the Phantom Thieves should be tried in a court of law, and that Akechi is not for the Phantom Thieves, even though he wishes that they do exist. Err... Uh, and then the interviewers decided to ask audience members questions and they went straight to Ren and asked him his thoughts on the fan of Thieves. Hilariously, considering he's the leader. Um, he was obviously answering that he's for the fan of Thieves. Didn't have a choice not to. Um, and Akechi was, was interested in this. Uh, because after the interview, Akechi actually came up to Ren and decided to chat with them a little bit more and ask if the two of them could hang out sometime to do a few more debates because apparently he likes us that much. So that's what happened last time, pretty much. We hung out with Carolina Justine as well, I remember that much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we got done. It was a bit of a longer episode, I think, but yeah, it was all fun. Today we need to continue waiting for our next target uh, and just bide our time basically. So what can we do? with our evening. Uh, okay, we have no one we can hang out with. We don't have guts for anyone. Uh, let's have a quick look at our social stats. Out of curiosity. I did watch the TV last time, right? No, I didn't. Time for a special edition of Discovery Town Detectives. On these irregularly broadcast specials, we share limited edition items that are all the rage. Today, we're talking about the Soothing Soma, the dish that will help you endure the summer heat. It's on sale now in convenience stores around Tokyo and is expected to sell out fast. It even puts some Chinese food to shame. It's surprising you can buy it at convenience stores. Huh, we might be able to find it at the one in Yongen then. Well, we can have a look there later. Hey. I want to have a look at my social stats. Because I need to know how we're doing. Somewhat close to knowledge, somewhat close to charm. Definitely close to proficiency, somewhat close to guts, no idea for kindness. Okay. I want to work on my charm. I feel like... People were saying it's getting, it gets more difficult to level up and I'd like to level that one up because if we look at our stats, currently we've got three in kindness and in, skull, in um, knowledge, so we don't even need to think about those two for now, we're okay. Um, but charm is going to be important, I think. Because uh, if I remember, there's a pretty early charm block that's super high, unless they've changed it for royal, so we should probably be careful about that. I, I need to get my guts up at some point. So we'll have to do that too. But I'm gonna focus on charm for now. Err... Uh, so let's get out of here. Actually, hold on, have you got something new to say? Hello. Yeah. Nope, that's not new. Okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. Okay. Well, first of all, let's head over to the convenience store. Let's see if they've got any of that soothing soba. Hmm... They seem to be organizing the store shelves. I guess they're about to close soon. Dang, never mind then. Alright, well, let's head over to... The, the best place to get our charm up. The... Oh. Oh, that drunk guy's back. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm so sorry. I failed you, Marami. Failed you as your mother. Oh, my son. He stole paintings. She scammed innocent people. Saying sorry. It's not enough. What can I do? What do I have to do? Show you forgive me. Strip. Are, are you serious? You leave me no choice. I'll bear my body and soul. My sexy body. My ultra soul. I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> the meme answers sometimes just don't matter and dang. I had to, I had to, okay. All right, let's go to the bathhouse because we can get our charm up in there. Also, 
I want to buy these. Oh, actually, there's two of each. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Okay. Mm. Right, let's head on into the bathhouse. Maybe relaxing at the bathhouse can help boost your charm. What do you want to do? Want to go refresh yourself with a bath? It's 500 yen to enter. Let's go. Body and mind feel so relaxed. Oh, it seems like you've really refreshed yourself. I think you're even more handsome now. Well, that'll help us a little bit. Got some points. Wanna head back? Come on, we should get home before you get cold. Are you watching the broadcast? So the Phantom Thieves were the bad guys. I guess now that you mention it, I've felt that way the whole time. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? It's really self-centered. Ooh, ooh, it went up. Did you ca did you catch any of that student detective on television yesterday? The Phantom Thieves are super lame! Oh, that talk show? It was simply dreadful! How could anyone suggest stealing... Uh, how could anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That child is a phony! There's simply no way that the Phantom Thieves exist! Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're real and worse that this detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. Looks like people still don't th think we're real. I'm so pumped! I can't believe we were on TV yesterday! With a catchy kun It was like a dream come true! I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective! He's just like the detective prince! He's smart and handsome! He's almost too perfect! Too cool! We had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a catchy kun. It was so... I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform and without seeming like a snob. He's so natural at public speaking. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. It says who? See, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say, I love that he hates the media. Makes me believe that he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular they're going to air it again tonight. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? 
You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though. What are we gonna do about him? What about Ryuji's place? It's way too small. Plus, my mom would never agree to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <sighs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello! A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rat will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. 
<laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and, uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. What do you think, leader? What about the news? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Well, it looks like we're doing a hot pot, then. Uh, at least Sojiro was okay with um, us having our friends over, that's nice. 
I hope that they appreciate me having the, the chocolate photo just sitting out here. <laughs> like I have the money to fill it up every day. <laughs> Hi, how you doing, Mona? Hmm, that Akechi guy seems pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, though. But let's forget about him for now and just focus on having fun. Come on, we need to prepare. Okie dokie. I do remember the first time that I did this, I thought that I had to grab something from over here. Like the portable stove and set it up, but I didn't actually have to. I got confused for ages about it though. Can I sit on the couch? Hmm. You can't be tired enough to just want to sit down. You just need to ask about the pot. Okay, I'm sorry Mona. I just made you sit really sad, didn't I? I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Hi, how are you doing? Ooh, can I watch TV? We discussed the word going around town to help keep you in the know. Today we cover the Darkwings. They have high appeal among young people and are said to be involved in Mr. Madarami's confession. Their methods are unknown, and many are voicing concern that this group may be dangerous, but... It seems like a lot of people have started talking about the fan of these. Ooh, interesting. They're talking about some TV. Alright, sorry. Hi, Sergio. How you doing? I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Want to join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. Why do you say that? Oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Thanks, Sojiro. We will have a look around. Uh, there has to be something over here, right? This is where all of the plates and stuff are. There's a curry pot. It looks delicious. Oh my goodness. There's a huge pot of curry here. This seems to be the store's speciality. I think we maybe read that when we first got here. Hmm. Ah, we can just examine the kitchen. Well, let's do that. It's a cabinet for kitchen supplies. I wonder if there's a suitable pot in here. I found an old earthenware vessel. This should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. But I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm hmm it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, 
I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own, and it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... This is bullshit. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh! It's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't remember. You can't remember, huh? 
Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. She's a great teammate. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Oh, please don't! Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. 
Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. So? What do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Still... Ugh, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. <laughs> well, we're finally around to, allowed to run around again. Oh god, the guy's just putting all of the water into the thing. Oh god. Well, that was fun. It was nice to have a little, a little celebration with everyone, talk about all our backstories. Even knowing all of the stuff about Ryuji's backstory, both from personally having played it before, but also having played through his confidant again this time around, it's still so sad to hear about his life. Like with his dad and his mum, and then with the track team. God, he's gone through a lot. Everyone in our team has gone through a lot. Uh, well, it, it's fine. We have a text. Oh, it's from the group chat. Check out the pictures I took today. Oh, that's super cute. Oh. Are his, his glasses are steaming up because of the hot pot. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. That bad, right? The steam fogged up his glasses. Another one of the many charms of eating hot pot, I, I suppose. Oh man, I, st I keep looking back at the picture and Ren's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, Yusuke is still at Ren's place, right? Don't go making any trouble for him, okay? Of course. I'd like to think I'm not that socially graceless. All I can ask is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot. Yeah, you're probably not gonna get either of those things, Yusuke. I'm sorry. I'll try my best. <laughs> Hi, Mona. How you doing? I'm going to protect my beauty sleep, no matter what it takes. I read that wrong. It's Sleeping Beauty. I'm going to protect my Sleeping Beauty, no matter what it takes. But I'm still awake. Whoa! I'm not talking about you! Wait, don't eavesdrop on me! Love you, Mona. Okay, hi Yusuke, how you doing? Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I will be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Well, that's good to know. Can I go downstairs? Probably not, right? Let's turn in for the night. It's getting pretty late. Let's call the day and go to sleep. Okay. I, I guess we're taking the bed then? Uh, okay, let's just go to sleep. Wow. You needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. Let's sleep. Prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Ooh, we got another level on our full arcana. We got a super stock. Increases your persona stock to 10 slots. Thank you, Igor. Bless you. I needed this. All right. Your full confidant has been increased to rank 5. You will now earn more EXP from arcana burst when facing personas of the full arcana. 
You've learned the ability super stock from Igor. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms, and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. Hey! You're finally awake! Where's Yusuke? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. You up? Your 
finally up. You know it's past noon. That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayuri. Hmm. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I have entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojiro. The painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. Yes, I still believe porridge, porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Hey, hey, so Yusuke went home, huh? Oh well, I guess that's best. Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thief's name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has started, suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You mean he means- you think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. What should we do? I guess I'm interested. Although, how will we? Go how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed! No way! The police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it'd be bad if the chief knew you were out in the middle of the night. They target restaurants. Aha! Uh -huh. What if we drew them to Leblanc? What? Hmm, there's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for boss? Leblanc targeted. Seems like a viable plan to me. That's a horrible idea. Yep. I mean, you'd get kicked out of Leblanc if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How do you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. Alright. Well, that went well. I I feel like that's right there that we just read about the, the burglars. Did they not make a... Is that what the Daybreakers OVA is? Uh, basically, there's the Persona 5 animation, which is, you know, meh. Um, and then there's an OVA they did before the actual anime, which is the Daybreakers OVA. And it's about the, cur the current group that we have are doing a request in Mementos they weren't burglars though, were they? But they drew them to the blood, I'm sure, right? Or am I thinking of something else? I may be thinking of something else. Well, in any case, they did something like that. It was fun. I am... Um, I don't think there should be any spoilers in the, in the Daybreakers OVA, but may maybe be careful if you're gonna watch it. In any case, we have texts. Ah, my mentor's request from Ryuji, and then Takemi's been busy. Ooh. Uh, how are we doing for stuff to do? Takemi's available. Anna's not, well, not gonna level up, but she's available. 
Oh! Oh, that's the TV station! That's the location now? Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah, no one else seems to be available. I want to go to Mementos, but if Takemi's available, I should probably hang out with her. Uh Sadness. Hi, how you doing? Hey! I can't believe you just went home without telling us. Although that tactlessness is very Yusuke. Indeed it is. We could level up Takemi anytime, right? Like, we're already okay for, for how our, our level is for her. We could be better, but... Yeah, we're rank 5. I think we should go and hang out in Mementos, because I really feel like we should start doing these requests that we have. They're starting to pile up a bit. Like, we have... Yeah, we have uh, four requests here that we've not done any of. Um, and I want to level up a little bit because I need to get that Faith Persona for Kasumi. So... I think we're gonna go to Mementos. Alright, we can at least read the text from Takemi though. I've been busy with all these new patients that ever since that girl and her father came in. And this is all your fault. So you better take responsibility and help me out. Got it? The thing is ready for you, so... I feel like I can become closer to Takemi thanks to the death persona Makoi. I feel like my bond with Takemi will grow stronger soon. So what are you gonna do? Wanna hang out with Takemi? No! We'll do it another day. I'm gonna read that momentous one in a second. Can I... sit down? Hmm. I hope we can find another target soon. So do I. So do I. Nice. Okay, the plant's healthy. Let's go downstairs. Err... Uh, because we can watch TV. Up next, we discuss looming dangers approaching our city. Since the year started, scam victims have been on the rise, mainly in the Tokyo metro area. A massive mafia group is rumored to be behind these scam incidents, but... For real? A mafia group? Huh. I wonder who they might be. Well, it's a mafia group, so... <laughs> Sounds kind of dangerous. Hi, pompous customer. How you doing? It's pitiable how a man lauded by society as a great artist has fallen from grace. This just shows how ma how this just shows that many fail to truly understand what is art. Did you see past Madarame's lies? Did you see past them? Naturally, I knew all along. I merely took pity on him for a while. He's an old man after all. That said, there is no depth to Madarame's work. It is cheap and base, like instant coffee. Don't fret if these concepts are difficult to grasp. Art is deep and complex, like this coffee. See, I think saying that Madarame's work is baseless and not deep at all is an insult to the people who actually painted those things. <laughs> like, we saw Yusuke's painting in the in the gallery, and it had a profound effect on An. And you could really see, like, the depth of emotion that Yusuke must have poured into that painting. So like, the people who actually painted the, the paintings are talented and, and putting stuff into those paintings. It's just Madarame himself was a fake. Anyway, hello! By the way... By the way, doesn't that kid go to a different school? Where'd you get to know him? From another friend. Hmm. Huh. I guess you never know how you're gonna end up meeting people in this crazy world. Well, technically it's true. Yusuke came up to talk to Ahn. So we, we technically didn't lie there. It's fine. Okay, well, I think we're going to go to Mementos today. I want to quickly have a look at my items and I want to quickly go and buy um, the thing. Oh, good to see you. Oh, it's not here. They said that there was a, a thing, but never mind. What? The soba, but it's not there. So I, I guess not. Okay, what else? Err... What am I doing? Items. What do we have? What, we, what might we need? We've got tons of health stuff, so we should be okay for that. Um, an SP. We have a fair amount of stuff for that as well. We have six copies and then like some other things as well. I think we'll be okay. Um, so I think next time we'll probably just head on into Mem Mementos. Uh, we might as well call everyone to the hideout at the very least. So let's read this text from Ryuji. You remember that Memento Mementos request? We all agreed on that, right? We still haven't finished it. We don't know when the next big target will show up. We can take care of it. We can get some exercise, too. Oh yeah, we still haven't finished Mishima's request. 
if we're going to Mementos, will you have everyone gather their hideout? Let's do it. Round everyone up. Cool, let's meet at the hideout. Everyone's here. Everyone online is getting really excited about us. It kind of makes me happy to see this reaction. Well, that's good to know. Well, I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, next time we can actually head on into Mementos and get rid of those requests that we have. Um, but for now, I guess we'll just hang out here and uh, end off the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including our celebration with everyone in LeBlanc, our, the chats and conversations that we had, and also the... Did we do anything else? Did we do confidants? I can't remember. Just if you have any thoughts on all this stuff, feel free to let us know down below. And what's more, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.